Now, a home invasion went terribly wrong for the intruder. A terrified woman inside grabbed a gun and shot him. The man forced his way into the home on the 36,000 block of Ridge Root Road in Castaic. And CBS 2's Randy Page is live from there with more on this confrontation. Randy. Well, Pat, Rick, Linda Chisholm declined to speak to us on camera, telling us that her attorney and also the detective in charge of this investigation told her not to. But to, cl to help you understand what this woman has been through, consider this. She's in her 60s. This road is the only way in and out of where she lives. If you look way down the hill down there, you can see Interstate 5. The house in, right in front of us here is the closest home to her, and she lives all by herself out here. So a man comes in trying to break in. Consider what you would do when you live in a place like this. Here, high on this windswept ridgetop overlooking Interstate 5 north of Castaic, you're so far away from the highway that all you can hear is insects and an occasional barking dog. There are no power lines, limited cell phone service, and solar panels provide the electricity for the few people who live on this remote landscape. This is where Linda Chisholm set up her Castaic canine camp. Sheriff's investigators say they received a frantic 911 call from her about 2 this morning. Chisholm told the 911 operator someone was trying to break into her home. She was home alone, and deputies were 10 to 15 minutes away. Sheriff's investigators say she screamed at the apparent robber to go away, that she had a gun. She warned him not to come inside. But investigators say the man broke through the door and Linda Chisholm shot him in the chest. He was transported to Henry Mayo Hospital and was listed in critical condition. Linda Chisholm was badly shaken, but not otherwise injured. I'm not surprised at all. Billy Dahl lives a couple of miles away in a small trailer park off Interstate 5. He says he knows what it feels like to know it will take law enforcement 10 to 15 minutes to arrive. It can come down to that last second, and I'm not going to bet my life on that last second. As for Linda Chisholm's decision to shoot the intruder who broke into her home? I back her 100%. If someone came to my house and was banging on the door and not going away when I warned them that I was going to get my dogs or my gun or whatever. Oh, absolutely. I would, if, if, if they came into my house, they wouldn't be walking out. The identity of the suspected robber has not been released. Police, in fact, have not even had an opportunity to question him yet, but he is believed to survive. Back to you.